Hello everyone. Now I am starting here our last unit that is the sixth unit and uh, inheritance and polymorphism. So in this lecture uh, I am discussing or I am telling about the inheritance and its basic concepts. Okay. Now here what is meant by the inheritance? Uh, the inheritance is one of the most important feature of object oriented programming why it is uh, important because it allows the creation of hierarchical classification okay then the mechanism of deriving a new class from the old class that old class is also called as a base class or the super class is called as a inheritance inheritance represents the is a relationship which is also known as a parent child relationship so for the inheritance we have to key, uh, use one keyword that keyword is a extends keyword so to inherit a class the extends keyword is used in the class definition so <clears throat> this is all about the inheritance definition then um, what are the advantages of the inheritance the advantages of inheritance are uh, for method writing we can use the inheritance method writing uh, this concept i will uh, cover it uh, in the second uh, next slide okay and second uh, use of that uh, inheritance is that code reusability so code reusability may uh, reusability means what means when you create one class super class or base class then that uh, uh, members of that super class you can again reuse it in your derived class or the child class so we don't need to create again um, the members of that super class in the sub class okay you can reuse that code which are already declared in the uh, super class and also you can add, add uh, your own members in the sub class okay that's why it is a very uh, usable uh, or uh, important feature in the object oriented programming because code reuse it is the most important uh, advantage of the inheritance next in the inheritance the super class and the sub class terminologies are used means uh, super class or base class and sub class means uh, derived class or the sub class or child class okay now see here what is the super class super class it is the class from where a sub class inherits the features and uh, it is also called as a base class or a parent class and uh, what is uh, the sub class sub class it is a class which inherits the other class and uh, it is also called as a derived class it is also called as extended class or it is also called as a child class the sub class is also called as a specialized version of a super class why it is called as a specialized version because uh, it in, it inherits all of the instance variables and the methods defined by the super class and also add its own elements that are also called as the unique elements of the subclass so here you can say that this is the code reusable concept is used here because instance variables of the superclass and methods of the superclass are inherited by the subclass okay so here code reusable concept is used here then uh, in the termin terminology of java a class that is inherited is called as a superclass okay and the class that does the inheriting is called as a subclass or the derived class therefore uh, therefore the subclass is a called as a specialized version of a superclass next so this is the concepts of the or uh, um, Mm, keywords used in the inheritance that is subclass superclass then how you can uh, um, process the inheritance in the programs okay then a subclass is defined with the help of the following template like um, class subclass name and extends superclass name so to uh, uh, do the inheritance in your program you have to use the keyword extends by using the extend keywords you can create the subclass from the superclass that is you can inherit the features of the superclass from the sub, uh, inherit the features of the sub superclass in the subclass okay there is a format is there class subclass name extend superclass name and here in the subclass you can declare the variables and you can also declare your methods 
of the subclasses so the next point is the protected members so as you have already studied about the access modifiers like um, private uh, modifiers access modifier the public access modifier and the protected access modifier so the private access modifiers are private to the class only it cannot be accessed in the subclass okay because these private variables are remain private to that class to that class only in which uh, the private members are declared okay and uh, by default when you uh, cannot uh, cannot define any uh, access modifier to that uh, uh, variable or the method then that variable or method is by default as a public access modifier so the third access modifier is the protected so protected members are a uh, protected access modifier is accessible within the package and also outside the package but outside the package you can access the uh, protected members by using the inheritance only okay so by using inheritance you can access that protected members in that subclasses the then the protected access modifier uh, can be applied on the data member can be applied on the method and can be applied on the constructor also okay so it uh, cannot be applied on the class so it can be applied on the data member method and the constructor only so suppose uh, if you want to allow an element to be seen outside your current package but only only to the classes that subclass your class directly then at that time you can declare that element protected so in other words you can say that protected access modifier permits or allows that the fields visible not only to all classes and the subclasses in the same package but also to the subclasses in other package also okay this is called as a protected this is also called as a protected members then next is the hierarchy using the private instance variables so <clears throat> so what is in the hierarchy hierarchy means the uh, you can create the subclass a superclass and you can inherit from that superclass a subclass this is the hierarchy so see here the hierarchy using the private instance variables as i have already told about that private instance variables that see here all the a subclass includes all of the members of the superclass but that subclass cannot access or uh, private members of the superclass super means it does not have the permission to access the private members of the superclass so why it is uh, that why there is a no permission for the subclass to allow uh, to access the private members of the superclass because in a class hierarchy private members always remain private to their classes okay so it cannot be accessed by any classes outside that class in which they are declared so see here one example <coughs> so example of the by using the private instance variables okay so there is a class uh, is created here that is class is the a and this class is the super class and in that super class that uh, i variable is declared uh, which um, whose type is the integer and uh, so here i am uh, i am not assigning any access modifier when you do not assign any mo uh, access modifier to that variable or the method then by default that uh, members are the public okay then here uh, for there is a variable j and whose type is integer so i declare this integer j as a private okay so j integer variable is the private and integer i is the public so j variable cannot be accessed outside the class a because this private integer j it is a private to the class a only it cannot be accessed by any subclasses of the super class a so there is a method that is set ij and uh, there are the parameters are passed uh, two parameters are there integer x and integer y so these are initialized here i is equal to x and j is equal to y this initialization is there next so there is a inheritance here that is class b extends a means class b is a sub, uh, sub class and a is the super class so class b extends a and in the sub class b there is a integer total here and uh, there is a 
सम मेथड इज देअर सो इन द सम मेथड द टोटल और सम और एडिशन ऑफ द इंटीजर आय एन जे इज क्रिएटेड हियर और डन हियर आय प्लस जे बट देर इज अरर Why there is an error? Because J is not accessible here. Why J is not accessible here? Because J is private. Uh, private variable is declared in the super class A, so it cannot be accessed outside that class A. So I'm I have done here that total is equal to I plus J is wrong. Or uh, when when I will uh, run uh, run this program, then there will be a compile time error. Okay. then there is a class access so in that there is a main method is and in the main method the b sub ob so sub ob it is the object created of the sub class b and by using that uh, object of the sub class i have i have called the method set ij and passing the parameters 10 and 12 here so same here by using that object the sub method is called here and uh, Uh, the, there is a say, simple print and statement is that total is sub ob dot total so when i will run this program then there will be a compile time error because the j variable is not accessed outside the class because this is a j variable is a private instance variable so we cannot access that variable outside that class a okay thank you